Gaffney and I'm here with U.S. Classic Muscle Cars and today I'm here with Dave Konofsky. Hi right, Dave, what did you bring here today? It's a 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona. Awesome, it's beautiful. Can you give me a little history on the car? It's one of 503 built. It's got about 75,000 original miles on it. I've owned it since 2002. Wow. Uh, from 80 to 97 it was in a Wheels and Spokes Auto Museum in Hayes, Kansas. The museum wow. closed, they sold off the collection. It passed through a couple hands until I got my hooks in it. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so how long have you had it? 2002. It 2002. was my life goal of a car. So okay. I bought, sold, <laughs> horse traded, slave labor, and everything I could to get to it. Wow. How many miles are on the car? About 70,000. About 70,000? Wow. Not bad at all. Can, can you tell me a little bit about the, the wheels here? Truly, those are actually 68 model. Uh, rims, the 69 is supposed to have a trim ring, but these are much brighter and I like them better, so. Oh, I like them. That's very nice. And I love this color, too. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the paint shop? Absolutely. Uh, we restored it back to the original colors. My friend Rich painted the car. Um, tried to keep it all original. It's all original sheet metal. Uh, the paint was just tired. The stripe was all cracked. It's a vinyl stripe. So, you know, being that old and these cars were really rushed when they were built. Uh, by Creative Industries uh, uh, back in 69, so uh, just gave it a, a refinishing. Wow, that's beautiful. I love the color. Do <laughs> you mind if we take a look at the interior? No, no. Oh, can you tell me a little bit about the signatures on the dashboard? They're uh, engineers and race car drivers that raced these back in 69 and 70. Mm -hmm. And following that, there's some that are relevant to the muscle car and especially the wing car hobby now. Uh, Tim and Pam Wellborn, uh, Sue George, Doug Skellinger. Wow, that's amazing as you have all that in there. That's really cool. It's been nice to meet all of them. I got pictures of all those people sitting in the car. Oh, when that's they were, so when they cool. Were signing it, so. <laughs> that's very cool. I love it. Beautiful. <laughs> we redid the seats uh -huh. uh, and the carpet. Other than that, it's it's pretty original. You can see it has an A-track player. Uh, I'll leave one in there just because most people have never seen an A-track anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> And are you the sole driver of this car? For the most part, you know, most my part. dad helped me a lot with it. You know, he gets to drive it. Um, oh, okay. That's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, okay, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about the history of the Daytona Charger? Sure, in 68 and 69, uh, Ford was kicking Chrysler's butt in NASCAR, <laughs> and they had Chrysler done everything they could with the engine, mm -hmm. so they had to turn to aerodynamics to make the cars faster. Wow. So they took a couple of their rocket scientists mm -hmm. and aerodynamicists and had them design the car. Wow. So they took a stock 69 Charger, mm -hmm. changed the back window, added the wing for downforce, mm -hmm. and the pointy nose for downforce, and to, to slice through the air better. Wow. And the fender scoops, because <laughs> the car lowered itself, the tires will contact the bottom of the fenders. So. Oh, I see, I see. Wow, that's pretty cool. Mind if we take a look at the front? <laughs> take a look at the, the engine and everything here. Can you tell me a little bit about the engine? It's the original, numbers matching uh, 440 cubic inch. Uh, we took it out, we painted it, we put it back in. It runs fine, so we didn't even feel the need to rebuild it. Wow. <laughs> uh, automatic transmission, also numbers matching. Uh, the rear end had been changed to a lower gear ratio to, to cool the car down. I talked to the original owner, he said it, it liked to overheat when it was new. Uh, oh, I see. These cars have pretty limited cooling because of the aerodynamics. They didn't let a lot of air into the engine compartment. So it only has that tiny little girl to breathe through. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. And I, I love this removal for flight. <laughs> <laughs> the colors matched. It, was, you know, it looks like a rocket. It worked. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> Very nice. How's the car to drive? Isn't it beautiful? It's a blast to drive. The faster you go, the more it just settles into the road. Mm -hmm. So have you taken this to the track at all? I had not um, in a competitive fashion. Uh, we've had parade laps around uh, a number of tracks, oh, okay. uh, especially Talladega. They oh, have nice. a reunion for us every five years down there. Oh, very cool. Very, very cool. 
and I love the American flag. <laughs> I sold one car to buy this one, I sold another car to paint this one, and I was all out of cars. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> well, thank you so much for letting us interview you and sharing your car with us. My pleasure, thanks for coming. No problem, and you can check us out on the YouTube channel, US Classic Muscle Cars. I'll do that. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> She's had a pretty good week so far.